<laughs> all right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, let's give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Sincere Shalom to all you men preaching this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to you striving and sincere believers. All right, today I don't really got a topic. I mean, I, I got a topic, but I don't have a title for the lesson. All right. Okay, but um, we're going to talk about uh, Yahweh Shah's mission, okay, and what he went through, and how in our walk, in this faith, um, it's similar. It's very similar, but not on that level. But, um, you know, it's, it's certain things that we're going to go through and have went through and are going through that are, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the daily grind of it all, man. It's the daily grind of it all. Um, and the thing is not to get too high or too low, man. And that's one of the things that, um, Yahweh shot perfected was balance. And, um, that's one of the things we're trying to master, man, or improve upon is balance, man. Because in this thing, you can't get too high or too low. And um, um, certain things in the world will hit you, man. Certain things in the world will hit you. And you got to keep moving forward. You got to keep pushing. Okay. And um, I want to start off with Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. Uh, verse 1, who have believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Verse 2, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. This is talking about Yahweh Shah. And as a root out of the dry ground, he have no form, no form nor comeliness. And we, when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Okay, and um, just to break that down, um, Yahweh Shah's his his um his walk or his mission. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't peaches and cream. It wasn't um he didn't take the easy way out. Um, you know, we could go all into that the crown of thorns. Um him being crucified uh, he didn't take the easy way out man he he didn't and he didn't look for um he didn't he didn't want to um he went through it man let's just say that he went through it for lack of better words he um like a lot of people when things happen man they uh they look for a way out, man. They look for a way out. No, Yahweh Shah ran ran into that fire, man, and he did it with grace. Is what I'm trying to get at, man. Um. So his story, you know how they depict him in this world. You know he he's. You know it's all beautiful, man. It's it's, you know that Easter vibe. But no, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah went through it, man. Yahweh Shah went through it. And it was mainly because of our people, man. It was mainly because of our people. You know, healing people. Um, it took a lot out. He, he pushed these, the this uh, chains of darkness, which is these, these bodies. He pushed it to the limit, man. Okay. Verse three, he is despised and rejected of men. Why? Because his message was repent, clean up your act, um, and turn to the heavenly father, man, and forsake this world, which the two thirds of our people can't do. So they despise him and they rejected him. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. 
And I want to bring that out because we may not know it. And, you know, we put on the, this this uh, exterior, man, and uh, which is, is not bad to do. But we're, we're very sorrowful, man, for, first and foremost, for our deeds and our actions knowing what we possibly could have done in past lives in this life, knowing what we have done and uh, just the current state of our people, the current state of the earth, man. And then, you know, a big bro getting done like that, man. So we deal with certain things, man, <laughs> you know, and, and we're acquainted with grief, man, but that's part of the, um, that's part of the condition of the battle, but it's all for a reason, you know, it's to, it's to, it's to build you up in the faith, man, because when this thing kicks off martial law, all right, um, you know, these camps that they're going to force people into the, these 15 minute cities, um, the fourth industrial revolution. You yeah, know, you're going to see things that's out of this world where if you wasn't built up in the spirit through this grief and suffering, you're going to want to throw in a towel, man. You're going to want to throw in a towel. You're not going to be prepared. So what is the most I doing? He's building up each brother and sister according to their spirit to get them through, man, of the elect. That is, okay? So... This is where that sorrow and grief comes in. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not, man. Okay. So, brothers, you know, we go through certain things and it's truth uh, daily, really, you know, um, Different things are thrown out there. you like, what the hell? But it's all the most high, man. It's all the most high. And uh, we continue to keep pushing forward, you know. Not by us, but it's through his will, man. Which is a blessing, okay? But the thing is, it's balanced, man. You can't, you can't be too high. You can't be too low. Um, you got to keep moving forward. You got to keep moving forward. And what you brothers are doing... You know, and so, uh, let me get Zechariah 13, verses 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire. So, that fire, man, is all that tribulation, all that hell you catching, whether it be at your job, car troubles, uh, your rib. Maybe children, you know, dealing with infirmities, health issues, you know. And I know brothers are going through it, man. Uh, that's that's that fire, man. Every brother got their own personal fire that that lights a fire in them too, you know. That's how the that's how the most I keep you on your toes, me included. All right, I will bring the third part, which is the elect, through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined. And that's how you get the impurities out of these precious metals, is you got to heat it up, man. It's all, it's all the, the end result is worth, you know, it being melted and uh, reformed um, and getting the impurities out, man. But you need fire. And I will try them as gold is tried. Tried is another word saying tribulation attested. They shall call on my name. And his name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. You know. So that means the elect is going to call on his name. You know. Because ain't, ain't nobody else. It isn't. It's nothing else to turn to the most high. Is the father of the spirits. Okay. Life and death is in his hands man. And he's giving that to his son, that ability, that, that honor to his son. 
Okay, so we had to call on those two names, man. I will say it. I will say it is my people, and they shall say, "The Lord is my God," and that's beautiful. That's a that's a union. That's the uh, that's the marriage. Okay, because it ain't gonna be no, you know, relying on Egypt. It's not gonna be relying on yourself. It's not gonna be relying on weapons. It's not gonna be relying up on you storing up food, saving money. Uh, this thing is gonna get out of hand, man. It's like a time like never before. Okay, so you better call on that name, man. If you're smart and using wisdom, it'll just come natural, man. Because uh, without that, we, we're done. It, we're done. Okay? And, and it's going to be people that try to call on that name. Um, that are of the two-thirds. Because they, you know, they're going to remember it. And, and Most High is not dealing, dealing with that, man. You got to be um, sincere. Okay? And the most high knows who is sincere. Alright, um Ecclesiastes two verses five. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So a lot of Israelites catch hell. That's just part of the curses. You know, nobody's exempt. But the difference between the two thirds, which are gonna be destroyed, um, and the one third, which is going to receive salvation, is the one third is getting reproved and being put in that fire to for salvation. Okay, for salvation. It says an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Okay, that's the elect. Okay, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. So belief, man. And that's one thing that separates the, the elect from the two-thirds of our nation. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered throughout the world. Um, and, and the, the Israelite foreigners who may look like other nations, but their spirit goes back to the um, one of the 12 tribes of Jacob, man. The Israelites. Okay, no matter what you look like. All right. One of the curses was we get scattered. And you know Jake never stopped having kids. So I'm going to go to uh, Ephesians. Go back to the blue letter. Ephesians 4 verses 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and, and teachers. And why did he give all of these men with these different gifts of the Lord? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach Yahweh So different brothers around the world got talent. And to 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 uh, add to the body, man, there there's certain gifts that they got from the Lord for the perfecting of the saints. That's not talking about perfection, meaning you're not gonna sin, but a hundred percent truth, man, a hundred percent knowledge what you're teaching, okay, and and leading by example. That's the perfecting of the saints. Because we're all sinners, man. You know? But this knowledge is going to perfect us, man. The name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to perfect us, man. You know? If you're of the elect. Alright, let's go to Ecclesiastes 7. Verses 3. And what I was saying is, man, this this the road less traveled. Most Israelites, uh, you know, think that we're crazy to try to put the most high or to put the most high first and foremost and his son and to forsake this world, man. So 
so with that comes bitterness and uh loneliness and um grief you know people you grew up with people your family um your immediate family but um it says it is better you know hold on it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting for that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart and the living is the ones with that breath of life which is the, the knowledge wisdom understanding of the most high man everybody else is dead spiritually dead sorrow is better than laughter and then we get a heavy dose of that man and i'm not to try to sound like a, a depressed guy or this and that i'm just i'm just saying that this sorrow is actually a blessing and a gift from the most high man okay sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better so our spirit is renewed every day man okay it said the most high chastened of his sons you know esau don't get chastening man you know he he don't he don't catch nearly as much hell as he deserved which that's coming man but you on the other hand you get out of line the most high deal with you right away okay right away all right let me get a hebrews and yahweh shah is a scripture <clears throat> it mentions at one time but basically he was paying for his own sins man with that that judgment and that punishment that he had as yahweh shah he paid for his sin as adam his sins as adam and uh solomon man so he he was trying to atone for his sins man <clears throat> and really the whole nation okay he put it, the whole nation on his back okay um let's get hebrews 3 verses 14 for we are made partakers of a mashiach yahusha if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. So you partaking in his sorrows and grief, man. Because we we on that same path. We on that same road. Okay. So that, that's a blessing, man. Okay. That's a real big blessing. Okay. I can't say it enough. We hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. So you must endure, man. You must endure and you will endure if you're of the elect. Shalom.